Trump reaches boundaries by saying DOJ should be going after Democrats. President Trump on Friday repeatedly called on the Department of Justice and FBI to investigate his Democratic political opponents, a breach of the traditional executive branch boundaries designed to prevent the criminal justice system from becoming politicized. Trump urged federal law enforcement to do what is right and proper by launching criminal probes of former presidential rival Hillary Clinton and her party a surprising use of his bully pulpit considering he acknowledged a day earlier that presidents are not supposed to intervene in such decisions. In a flurry of accusatory morning tweets, Trump claimed there was mounting public pressure for new Clinton probes, including over her campaign's joint fundraising agreement with the Democratic National Committee that effectively gave her some control over the party's finances, strategy and staffing before the primaries began. Trump invoked Senator Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass, who had said that she believed the Democratic primaries were rigged in Clinton's favor based on details of the arrangement in a new book by former DNC interim chair Donna Brazile. Using his pejorative nickname for Warren, Trump tweeted, Pocahontas just stated that the Democrats, lead, sick, by the legendary crooked Hillary Clinton, rigged the primaries. Let's, sick, go FBI and Justice Department. Clinton campaign, DNC paid for research that led to Russia dossier. Trump also called for probing the deleted emails from Clinton's private server while she was Secretary of State, as well as the sale of a uranium company to Russia and the international business of Democratic super lobbyist Tony Podesta, the brother of John D. Podesta, who served as Clinton's campaign chairman. People are angry, Trump wrote in one tweet. At some point the Justice Department, and the FBI, must do what is right and proper. The American public deserves it." Trump amplified his message later Friday morning, as he spoke to reporters gathered on the South Lawn of the White House before he departed for a 12-day trip to Asia. "'I'm really not involved with the Justice Department,' Trump said. "'I'd like to let it run itself. But honestly, they should be looking at the Democrats. And a lot of people are disappointed in the Justice Department, including me. Trump has long been irritated, and at times outright angry, with Attorney General Jeff Sessions for refusing to prosecute Clinton and for not better protecting him from the special counsel Robert S. Mueller III's wide-ranging probe into Russian interference in the 2016 election, the president's advisers have said. Trump made his displeasure clear in a Thursday radio interview on The Larry O'Connor Show. You know, the saddest thing is, because I am the President of the United States I am not supposed to be involved with the Justice Department. I'm not supposed to be involved with the FBI," Trump said. I'm not supposed to be doing the kind of things I would love to be doing and I am very frustrated by it. The President said it was very discouraging to me that the Justice Department and FBI were not going after Hillary Clinton. He added, hopefully they are doing something and at some point, maybe we are going to all have it out. The White House offered no explanation for why Trump publicly pressured the Justice Department on Friday. A Justice Department spokesman also declined to comment. Senior officials at the White House and some key Republican lawmakers have raised concerns in recent days about the level of access the Justice Department has been providing to congressional investigators to review materials. Some lawmakers have sought more information than the department has provided related to a dossier that contained lurid allegations about Trump's alleged ties to Russia, as well as related to the uranium deal, according to administration and congressional officials. A White House official said Trump wants the Justice Department, as a general policy, to be transparent and provide Congress with the information it is requesting. A Justice Department official said the White House overtures were not considered inappropriate because they were about the agency's compliance with congressional oversight. Both officials spoke on the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to discuss the matter on the record. Friday's public pressure marks the latest attempt by Trump to use his presidential megaphone to direct the criminal justice process. Trump delivered off-the-cuff remarks this week recommending punishment for Saflo Saipov the suspect accused of killing eight people with a rental truck in New York. He at first said he was considering sending Saipov to the military prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, 
but then reversed course and advocated a civilian trial in federal court and the death penalty for the